Doug Ford versus Christine Elliott? Well, it all comes down to whether or not the provincial conservatives can pick a leader this time who will finally score the winning touchdown. The two serious candidates for the job, in my opinion, will be Christine Elliott and Doug Ford. When the party last picked Patrick Brown as their leader, it was disappointing. In Christine Elliott, they had an experienced, recognizable woman who would certainly give Kathleen Wynne a run for her money, or our money as it turns out. But instead, they gave the job to another pasty white guy, while no slouch has shown himself to be more of a liberal than a conservative with his strange new people's guarantee. Has a real communist ring to it, don't you think? While I'm genuinely sorry for Patrick Banas, I don't believe that anything he is accused of doing merited being so unceremoniously thrown under the bus. I think the party now has a chance to appoint a fighting warrior in his stead. Yes, that would be Doug Ford. Feisty, for the regular guy, and most importantly, not working for Kathleen Wynne. Kathleen Wynne, currently, as some of you may know, is on a salary as patient ombudsman, put there by Kathleen Wynne, or in this case, ombudswoman. Now, while I have a great deal of respect for Miss Elliot, I worry that this rather major flaw will put her at a considerable disadvantage going into the June election. Do the provincial PCs really want a third loss snatched from the jaws of victory? And it wouldn't hurt to have a little pizzazz back on the boring Canadian political scene, someone who will stand up to Justin Trudeau's carbon taxes, and maybe even for us average Joe and Jane down here in the trenches as well. I say go, Doug, go. We conservatives need a win. In Ontario, we need to get rid of this liberal party once and for all. <laughs>